it's first thing in the morning and I'm in the bathroom getting ready to run downstairs and do the cooking for the music workshop that's currently on at La Lande. But what do you think I have just seen out of the window? I think you've probably guessed already. Mama, we... this is not okay. We are preparing the ground to cut. I don't think that should be your job. But nobody is about to see. Well, Mummy, it doesn't have to be done on a Sunday. That's okay. We're doing well. Percy wants to cut. It was my idea to cut. It was her idea to clean up first. Okay, so it spiralled. Yeah. <laughs> Mummy, stop it. Thank you. That's it. I'm just getting a thank you. Yes. I need a sous chef. I'll see you there. <laughs> My mother is unbelievable. I just cannot stop her. I'm hoping that by giving her work in the kitchen, I will keep her from the back-breaking work in the garden. Why you were outside weeding because there was no one around to do it for you on a Sunday is beyond me. Well, no, because everything is pushed back a day and, pushed, and I've got a whole list in my head. Does your list say take no. Sunday off? No. It doesn't say that on Never the Never has in my life. Is well, going to maybe <laughs> we need to put that on it. Okay, well, I'm going to keep you in the kitchen just so that it keeps you out of trouble. Today is going to be homemade smoked mackerel pate. Now, this is really easy to make and it's super, super delicious. How about yes, sir. chopping fine. the onions because I'm making a three bean salad. Okay. So the onions and the parsley would be great for that. Now, the trusty Thermomix is going to come into play today. We have cream cheese, smoked mackerel, dill, tiny bit of horseradish, which I might as well pop in, capers, lemons, and that should do it. So what do you think of the knife from Turkey, Mummy? I didn't want to use it in case I shot my fingers. This is a nice way to relax. <laughs> Just so long as your fingers you don't get under it. how much you start crying. If you look down, you see you cry. Yeah, but if he looks down, he might be a bit safer, Mummy. Yeah, a little I'm bit safer. Better. I would put because safety first. Yes, thank you food. I'll be honest, this is all very pretty, but it doesn't look like food. No. So this morning, I suddenly remembered that these were sending cat of the chateau a really long time ago. And then I remember that we have this one, the little bird. Yes. And the bird had a... A round one on it. That didn't match at all. I think the okay. round one was supposed to be for a uh, hanging yeah, Okay. So, um, so you've made it into a flower! Which made sense, because this is a flower. So I think this would have originally had something like this. That's quite sweet. Can we turn it on and see what it looks like? Sure. I don't know how much this is helping, but... Oh, not at all. You're the light relief. Boom, boom. <laughs> nice. I didn't know you could just switch it on like that. Oh! oh. That's fine. <laughs> It's much nicer with that on it, actually. So 1930s. I was going to say, would you like it for your apartment? Yes, I can always do with extra lighting. Good. Excellent, it's found a home. Good. It's quite heavy, shall I? I'll take it up. No, you won't pick it up. Yes, please. Yes, no. This looks really good. I like your couscous beetroot feta salad. Yum. Okay, I'll take it all out. We have a board of charcuterie to go as well. There's today's smoked mackerel pate. That's my favourite thing today. All right, another lunch done. Okay. Now it's time for us to enjoy the fruits of our labour, only we can't because we put all the food out. <laughs> so instead, Philip has had the genius idea of opening the Mirabelle jam from Chateau de Colombe from the YouTube channel Journey to the Chateau. We haven't Very tried it yet. Excited. Me too. So with the mousse de canard and then... Mmm. Mm -hmm. I'm having the plum jam in the traditional method and... I'm having it with the mousse de canard. The plum jam is very nice. I think it's very very, nice. like, I mm. like the combination, but I think it's a bit weird to just mix it all into one... One smooch. Paste, yeah. Mm. I think I'll stick to my method. That jam is delicious. As if there's not enough going on today. Fresh from their success at removing all of the little stones from this circle around the chapel, Mummy and Percy have decided to investigate the well. No time like the present. Never come. What? <laughs> that well. Thank goodness if we don't wake up tomorrow, we can tick off this job. We have been planning this since 2020, but something happened in between. <laughs> okay, then all we need to do is lift it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Darling, what? Wait, let go. And then put it through. Right oh, you want there. to lift it that way? Yeah. But, but that gets lifted by hand. But Percy doesn't want to lift it by hand. He's spotted another way. Okay, lift it by hand. And we, I can see water. There's, there's definitely water. It's right there. 
Yeah, no, we will leave it here. Yeah, no, just rest it. Okay, it's gonna fall on somebody's arm. Put it down here. I want everybody to realize how bossy you even really is. <laughs> so now the truth is out. To, oh my goodness, yes. And they think I am man of toes. Mommy, no one thinks you're bossy. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, there's water. Lots of water. So we will measure how much water we have. Okay. Oh, I like it. <laughs> a very scientific tool. That is a very scientific tool. I love what you've done there. Yep. Don't let go of that, Mummy. <laughs> I can just see what's going to happen here. Yes, the whole lot's going in. <laughs> So you're going to see how wet the string gets. Now, yeah, well, first of all, I want to know how deep it is. The water is so far from the top. Ah, I okay, to I top. see. I'm considering the usage of a pump. Yes, that's a very good idea. Okay. No, no. Is that not wet? No, I know, this is the top part. I also thought that, Mummy, but he's also measuring how far from the top the water is. Two metres and twenty centimetres. Okay. Okay, take two, and this time the stone's going to go into the water. That's it. Let's keep going. Is it at the bottom? No, it's, no, it's not at the bottom. Keep going till it's at the bottom, then we'll see where the string is no longer wet. That's, That's it. it. So we can measure up the air. Yeah. And then we know how deep the water is. Clever, Percy. So you're not having to rely on where it gets wet. No, because I don't know exactly where it gets wet. It's... Get Clever. Look at You've got to admit his system was better than ours. I've lived with swells. Yes, but his system was nevertheless, mummy, better than ours. That's the point. It was that more precise. Irritates. That's the point that irritates her if I have a better system than <laughs> that. You have to measure the wetness. No, no, much. he did a better way, which is more precise. Four metres fifty. So two metres thirty underwater. Yeah. Two metres and thirty centimetres of water in there all the way from south africa i bring a 30 meter tape to measure this well and it only <laughs> needs so four and a half meters <laughs> oh. classic still at the end of a uh, massive drought still got water i wanted to check i know it's rained a lot in the last week but nevertheless so the water table's a, low we probably will have a pump there it'd be wonderful to so, be able to have our own water supply on this side for the garden yeah we will also be putting in a huge system that will be fed off all the roofs but in the meantime we can start with this the next thing though is for someone to go down the well Philip! <laughs> and clean the bottom of the well. Why do you want that? To clean the bottom of the well because there must be how many, how many hundred years of sediment mm. in there. Okay, so we're going to get another 20 centimetres. What, what are we going to do with that? Well, I don't know. Percy, mummy's the, mommy's the smallest. Oh, yes. She's the one going in. If she wants to do I it. I don't mind. <laughs> No, I, I don't mind. From, no one's as, going in the well, from, mommy. No from, one is going in the well. From oven to well. Yeah. I'm vetoing anyone going into the well. That's yes. an accident waiting to happen and it's not... not we're not do, doing that. Do I not be concerned. We're not going to, for the next five years, drop food down here for you three <laughs> times a day. I wonder if we can um, uh, sort of suck it out, you know, properly, all that sediment, if there is such... Um... Well, Mummy, the water is coming to the top of the sediment anyway. All we need is the water. Isabel, if you take 20 centimetres... Well, Isabel, it's a problem. If you yes. take 20 centimetres of sediment out, yes. then you'll have 20 centimetres less water at the top. <laughs> yes, but I... <laughs> you don't understand the no, principle you're right. of the I don't. well, do you? No. Okay, the more you... S you you take the water from a well, the more the underground um, Works. Uh, the, yeah, the water goes into it. Yeah. So you get more water by using more. It's one but of that's the... got nothing to do with clearing the bottom. Yes, because then there is more space. No, there's a lot of space. There's two metres of space not used. Well, I rest my case anyway. Oh, good. I'm glad your case is rested. Okay. Wow, Maria. I'm trying to recreate Grant's uh, oh, chapter. Oh, that is beautiful. Let's see. I understand it's it's quite hard because it's a little bit uneven, the hobs. So you have to always, like, pivot it. I'm yeah. literally screaming, like, in Fred, pivot! <laughs> and then, like, trying to do various angles to get the perfect pivot. You are incredible. Well, let's see. And I mean, you did fun. this on your own. I did. I did it all by myself. And you can play the piano. Yeah. Well, that's questionable. Oh, no, it's oh, not. Oh, God. Okay. Good luck. Bye, 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 bye.
workshop at La Lanza. So this is the very last lunch that I will be cooking. I'm down in the kitchen with Philip. The smoked salmon quiche is about to go and I've made it with conte and mimolette cheese. Lots of smoked salmon, dill, a lot of cream, a little bit of milk and five eggs in each quiche. That might be the most fetching apron on you so far, Philip. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, I like it. I'm matching the room, but not in an expected way. No, in a very unexpected way. You have to really search to see mm -hmm. how you're matching the room. Mm -hmm. That's what's up there. Yes, I know. That's and you actually realised you were matching the room. That's why I put it on. And it's autumnal. And it's your mother's set, right? Yeah, my mother's royal Worcester set. Well, well. Pity she's not in here this morning. Yes. You are not going to believe the idyllic sight right outside the kitchen at the moment. For a start, we have cat sunbathing. That's not the idyllic sight I meant, but it's definitely part of it. Over here, we have an entire family of peacocks just in the sunshine together, enjoying it. There's beautiful music emanating from the chapel because Cat's turned her speaker on in there. But look who else has come to join all the excitement. Hello, Hook. You just decided to come and hang out next to all of us today, have you? It's really good to see you again. Well, I won't disturb you anymore because I want you to be feeling safe and happy here. <laughs> it's just amazing. We have the tamest wild hedgehog in the world. Just chilling out with the peacocks and with Cat. Everything is finished for today. We have all of the salmon quiches and huge salads, the tomatoes all from the garden. Then there's just a little vegetarian asparagus quiche. And there's also somebody who's non-dairy, so it's Omi Moza and smoked salmon today. It's all happening today. It is also <laughs> chicken day. Chicken arrival day. Oh, hello, new arrival. Yeah. Although we have our own chickens, we have to buy lots and lots of eggs here because we just don't have enough chickens to produce eggs for the number of people in the chateau. So we've decided that bit by bit, we're going to be getting more chickens and Kirsty went to get another two today. What a magnificent chicken. Isn't she just, I uh, love her. She's so stunning. On the pen, it said that she was an ol <laughs> olive egg layer. An I olive egg layer. Olive egg layer. So looking at her comb, um, I'm not a chicken expert, but I think she's probably got aracana in her. Well, I think we should call her Olive then. Uh, olive, my singing yes. teacher, as I was growing up, had the most wonderful singing teacher. She was called Olive and oh, she had yeah. white hair. Oh, so, perfect. Hello, Olive. This is olive, and I think her, her legs are actually olivey green. So. Yeah, yeah. They are. And she's oh. got these little grey spots all over her. So. Stunning! <laughs> yeah. Well, somebody else is making a great deal of noise. What about Who else me? do what we have? Me? Hello. I'm so sorry. I was giving Olive all the attention. <laughs> and this one is a, a Milfleur sable boot with extremely magnificent feet. <laughs> Ridiculous feet. In there, Olive. Good girl. Be nice to your friend. Come on. So they've had um, just today to kind of chill out before I sort of reduce, introduce them to the others. Come on. Well, I mean, I'm not sure that the mille fleur. Oh, oh Olive's on the, on the go. 
No, oh, you can come back in, darling. <laughs> no, you're not going loose yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, very soon, very, Why very soon. Good you girl. will be free. So this is the ridiculous <laughs> feet. It's okay. Oh, bless her. Oh, she is just stunning. Look at that pattern on her. Oh, she is. It's okay. You're all right. Oh. So she's she's a lot younger, I think. Um, yeah, so she's, she's a, a bit more frightened. I think so. Well, let's get them over to the other chickens. Yes, let's. Let's see how they get on. I'm going to trim her toenails as well. I've just noticed her nails are a bit long just before oh. she goes out. All right, let's let's see how they get on. Okay. We can't have all this chicken fun without my mother. So I'm going to go and get her. She'll be delighted. Come and see the chickens. Percy, chickens, what a day. Just amazing. Oh, what go on. Red. These are Beethoven's eggs that Kirsty just collected. You two really are the picture of love, aren't you? Walking over hand in hand. Oh, okay, let's go oh. see the new chickens. How are they taking to it so far? They're just making curious walks and things. <laughs> I just I've left them in the house for a few minutes just to sort of get acclimatized. Yes. Hi. Oh hello ladies. Hello. Yes. I think that one of our old chickens is sitting on her head. Yes. Right. So she's very comfortable. She's nice silky. <laughs> Can we lift it this way? Oh yes. Oh, yeah, yes, here we go. Hello ladies. One sitting on head, one walking on Nancy, can you please get off her head? Please? <laughs> yeah. that, she doesn't like oh it any more than I do. <laughs> I love the smell of this chicken coop. It smells like oregano. It, it smells, smells like so good. It smells really, really good. <laughs> so I've named this one, Mummy, yes. Olive, after Olive Quantrill. Oh, because she's yeah. an olive egger. Really? She yes, she green, should. Greeny Greenish, green. greeny blue egg. But you have to name this one, mummy. This is a mille fleur. Mille fleur sable poot. The Who? mille fleur yeah. sable poot. Look at her feet. Well, she's, she's not moving. moving. Oh, there we go. Look at her feet. Look at her feet. Oh, They're massive. Oh, yeah, she's got feet. She's got very silly feet. They're ridiculous feet. <laughs> oh, darling. It's okay. I think you will be Pegasus. <laughs> because of the winged feet yes. and he had a winged horse yes. pegasus it is i like that maybe peggy for short <laughs> yeah mommy think? always goes very grand names oh. othello we've had yeah. king clovis you always oh, wow. have very yeah. grand names for your pets yes. absolutely <laughs> pegasus it is mm -hmm. welcome olive and pegasus we made a new friend already yeah, beautiful. I think it's a surprisingly timid Pegasus, actually. She's well, a bit shy. <laughs> <laughs> she's just yeah. taking her time. Oh, she's preening. In the delicately scented yeah. hen house. Taking her time. It smells like pizza. <laughs> it smells like a herby pizza. <laughs> it smells so good. Well, they're beautiful. Thanks for getting them, Kirsty. I'm really no happy. Worries. It's like chicken shopping is my yes. second favourite thing to do. So. <laughs> and when we Next get the other house, yep. Yeah, so the other hen house, we yes. had a problem with red mites, didn't we? We did, yeah. So we've stripped it all down, we sprayed yes. it, and it recommends that we leave it for about eight months yes. for everything to be definitely gone. And then it's perfect to be returned to, to return. So houses. as soon yeah. as those eight months are passed, yeah. we will have our second yeah. hen house and we will be able to get even more chickens. Yes. This was the house we bought for the cockerels. I know. But then because we had the mite problem, we moved mm -hmm. it here. Yes, sure. And so the cockerels are now free again and disturbing us all first thing in the morning again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do well, it well. Yeah, well. the cockerels are delighted about <laughs> the entire situation. I, they, yes, they are. <laughs> Oh, someone's very happy bathing in the sunshine. A little dust bath. <laughs> what are you doing? You know, you're putting all of that dust right onto Ludwig's head, Spud. I'm sure they're very curious as to what's going on. They're just playing too cool for school right now. Do you want an apple, Mummy? They're on the apple tree. Oh, darling. There we yes. go. They're definitely ready. They're falling off around us. Yes, they will have to be. I think I might have one myself. A very nice apple pie. Oh, make a delicious apple pie. Oh. Percy, do you want an apple? You can have mine. You can share mine. Oh, you share everything. It's like Adam and Eve. Uh -huh. That's a problem if we like Adam and Eve. Yeah, do not accept that apple trouble. from her. We'll get into trouble pretty soon. <laughs> 
fresh from all that chicken excitement, I've just found out that Terry and Ash have popped in to say hello. It's really exciting. I wasn't expecting them. Hello. Oh, I see teas going on. <laughs> Hello! Oh, oh my okay. goodness! Yeah, welcome back! <laughs> what on earth are you doing in the area? Honestly, we're so remote. It's always a miracle when people are going past. We were just passing, just passing. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to see our friends Patrick and Stuart. Um, oh, they're really near here, yeah. aren't they? You know, we were eating Patrick and Stuart's Mirabelle jam just now. We've got it in the fridge. We can show you. It's so delicious. Is it? It's unbelievably good. Yeah, so we're just popping down to see them, aren't we? Yep. Um, and bring the peacocks back. Before. Have you met them before? No. Do not bring those peacocks back. <laughs> Kirsty will kill us if you bring the peacocks back. The brilliant Anna. Absolutely. Really nice addition. Haven't touched a car yet. Touch wood. This is really nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it too. It's really tangy. Mm, it's lovely. They're going to be so surprised you've already tasted it. <laughs> <laughs> you brought Beethoven's eggs in. Look, you carry things. I've been teased by everybody for carrying things from the pantry like that. And but that's why I got it from you. That's what one does. Yeah. I don't want to drop See, them. I think that's the best way of carrying anything, but you wouldn't believe how I was teased. And Are you getting teased about it? House. Yes, I was. It is survival systems. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> Let me quickly show you this. This was Abba yeah. that made a gift for you while he was helping out at the shuttle. So one of your volunteers made a gift for me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. So you might recognise. No way! <laughs> it matches the stunning chair. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. You know I use that chair every single day. <laughs> it's my editing chair. <laughs> yeah, I have to be sitting on a peacock to edit. It's like the thing. So that's off Abba. Gorgeous. Well, thank you, Abba. <laughs> And where was Abba from? Holland. Netherlands. Mm -hmm. okay. oh. mm -hmm. yeah. He came over, he was with us for a couple of weeks, did loads of curtains and everything. Yeah. Absolutely amazing job doing everything that he did. Yeah, he did oh, some fantastic fabulous. bits. fabulous. Isn't that amazing? It's very beautiful. So now we can have it on one of the other um, chairs in that room mm -hmm. and it will tie in with my chair. Though actually, I'm using a cushion on the chair. Yeah. yeah. So I could just use that one. Yeah. <gasps> Cute. That's so kind. <laughs> I love it. Bye. <laughs> yeah, arms from all sides. <laughs> See you soon, bye. That was lovely. It really was. So nice. That cushion is lovely. Isn't it lovely? Absolutely lovely. I think it looks so pretty in my study. But so talented, eh? Yeah, yeah, it really is. I cannot believe that the week has come to an end. And this is it. It is time for the final concert. So I'm going down there right now to see all of the students perform. <laughs> Perfect evening for their last night. Oh, Percy, wasn't it superb? Oh, really good, eh? It was so good. Yes, I enjoyed that. Yeah, me it's too. too samba. They're having their photo shoot, final photo shoot of the course. Yeah. That little girl is so well behaved. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely. Just and sitting there watching the concert. Just sw uh, swallowing the oh. music. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. It's amazing. <laughs> Who's our musical cheese? <laughs> we always match. So how have you been? Good. How is Norway? Very nice. Very warm, actually. Probably you were a lot more comfortable there because it was 40 degrees here pretty much the entire time. Yeah, I'm glad I was there. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Uh, it's been a while. I can't remember the last time I was so young. I know, it's been so long, I can't believe it. Oh, there's so much cuddling going on in the kitchen. I miss Amory. She misses Amory. And on a 
honestly, I don't because I don't get as many cuddly buddies here. So actually, I don't mind it. He's only gone for a night. Two nights. Two nights. Two nights. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. It's two nights. Outrageous. Maybe that, that is serious. Minutes, it's usually a yeah. Minutes, so, okay, you can imagine. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Okay. It's pizza night. Yeah. Yeah. And frozen. Our oh, life is very, very good. Cheers and welcome home. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you all for joining us today at La Land and a special thank you to my patrons Gregory Clear, Linda Sue Concepcion, Erin Conklin, Zoe Dorks and Sylvia Dam. And a message to let all of my patrons know that next week's patron video is going to be lots of songs from the concert that we had, the last night concert of the workshop and also the full Dancing in the Kitchen night which was absolutely hilarious. But before that, tomorrow night's patron video will be the full reveal of the Marquis sitting room at La Land, and everybody else will be able to see it in the Chateau Diaries on Sunday. See you all then. I cannot wait to share it with you. Bye from La Land. Thank you.